What is up gamers, the Red Dragon here, bringing you the latest news of the day. Got a story about the PlayStation 4 and the RAM. So both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 have 8 gigabytes of RAM, but not all RAM is built the same. PlayStation 4's RAM is actually a lot better than Xbox One's. Uh, Xbox One isn't terrible, it's still good, but PlayStation's is better. But a lot of talk has been made about how much RAM will the developers have to actually work with. Just because it comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM doesn't mean the developers are going to have 8 gigabytes of RAM to work with in order to make like the best graphics or whatever. So certain uh, parts have to be cut off to power other things. So for instance, Xbox One has 3 gigabytes of RAM dedicated to the operating system. This does a few different things. One, it makes sure that they have plenty of of storage to operate things like apps in order to switch back and forth between you know TV or whatever else that you've got open up with your gaming console it also gives space for them to uh, open up and expand later on in years so they can add on peripherals as they go on just like you know this uh, this generation they added the connect a few years after the console came out the same thing is going to happen both Sony and Microsoft are developing uh, new toys new gadgets to add on to the console after the development or after the release date so Xbox one has three gigabytes dedicated to the operating system PlayStation 4 it is being reported by a digital foundry is going to have 3.5 gigabytes of storage dedicated to the operating system. Now, keep in mind that this is a report right now, but they are saying that they are looking at internal documents. They also say that it is possible that Sony could get in there, engineer, and cut down, I guess, the usage that the operating system is having. But, I mean, the PlayStation 4, just like the Xbox, is going to be able to do things just like the Xbox. It can swap back and forth between several different apps. You can have different things going, and all this requires, uh, you know, things going on in the background. It requires uh, memory and storage. So, as it stands right now, it looks like Xbox One has 3 gigabytes of storage dedicated to the operating system. PlayStation 4 has 3.5. They do go on to say that uh, there is talk like you could have a an additional 1 gigabyte of storage added onto the PlayStation 4, but it's uh, really cloudy how that will work. They talk like maybe that is something only given to first-party developers as it stands right now, but as far as actual game development, they are giving them, it looks like, uh, 4.5 gigabytes of space for game code. So developers have 4.5 gigabytes of RAM. I, I said so many numbers this video, like I feel like I'm confusing myself. So I hope what I've said is understandable. I hope you get that. Uh, either way, it's going to require more more RAM than what your PC does. For instance, your PC usually requires less than a gigabyte for the operating system, but, you know, it's a different beast. It's doing different things. So this is the way of the world. So this can all change too. So keep that in mind. This is not set in stone, and as soon as we hear something more, I'll let you know if this does get set in stone. But if you want to check out the links, links will be in the description box for yourself so you can go read these. And post below, let me know what you think. Are you disappointed if... PlayStation 4 only has 4.5 gigabytes of RAM dedicated for game development. Post below. And stay tuned to VGNVideoGamesNews.com for the latest news and developments.